So, I live in Miami and the winters don't get too cold. Will my tilapia survive the winter here? I'm not trying to spend money on heat. The school of aquaponics. So this question comes right at the right moment because I just had a scenario with, um, with tilapia and the cold weather. This happened like two weeks ago um, uh, here in Central Florida. You stay in Miami, so it's a, a bit different. But here in Central Florida, the weather patterns are a bit different. So um, I had checked the weather. Um, I had expected it to be around 44, 45, and not to get any lower, not at that particular time. But it happened. There was one day, one day out of the week, um, where there's just cold snap that just came through. And the cold snap came through, and I was up working. I was up working super late at that time. Um, maybe like, I think it was like six or seven. I was up the whole night. I had a whole bunch, finishing up courses and other stuff. Um, had a lot to do. So I started to notice, man. I'm like, hold on. Something's not right here. Um, this feels a little bit colder than 45 degrees. So um, I check, uh, get on the online real quick, check the um, the weather, and I see that it dropped down to 38 degrees. I'm like, no, 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 no. 38 degrees is uh, like a no go, a no go. So I, you know, um, g get my stuff on, get my, um, put my boots on, um, pants and everything, put all that on, shoot outside. And then I check, I'm just thinking, all the fish are gonna be turned and flopped upside down. This is in my um, research tank because I didn't put, I didn't, I didn't connect the heating up yet at that time. This is in the research tanks that I have. Not the main system, but just the research tank. I have um, these tanks that I'm using and creating all the courses out of um, out using these tanks. But I went out, I didn't hook the heating up, heater up yet. So I went outside, I'm like, all these fish are gonna be turned right upside down. I've been, I've been here before, trust me, I've been here before. And I know how how it goes. So um, I went outside and checked. I'm looking through all the tanks. Boom! Everyone's st still there. Then I go to one tank, and there's two fish that are turned over. Two fish in there, and I'm looking, and um, I can see in there that that you know that they're kind of still surviving. And I know tilapia. Tilapia are super hardy. These guys are the I call these guys the gangsters of aquaculture because they can survive. Like I said, a wide variety of water conditions. And um, so what happened is I said, you know, you can never count the tilapia out. You can never count these guys out. So I'm like, I guarantee if I leave these guys right here, they still got a little life in them. All the tilapia only need a little life in them. If I leave them alone, when it heats up throughout the day, I'm, it's in a greenhouse too. So it's going to get warm enough for the metabolism to kick in and for them to start being able to maneuver. Once they get up, or once the temperature rises up, I guarantee that they're going to be swimming again. I just had faith. Lo and behold, boom, they're swimming again. Woo, I couldn't believe it. Well, I could believe it, but it was great to see. It was great to see. So they made it. And I hooked the heater up and everything after that. I said, this can't happen. So, so to finally get to your question, the answer is you really want to maintain at least the minimum you really want to go down to is about 45 degrees for the tilapia. About 45 degrees, when you start going underneath there, you're playing games. You're playing, you're playing Russian roulette with the tilapia. And when you start getting down to the 30s and all that stuff, I mean, you can pretty much guarantee that there, well, not, well, you can pretty much guarantee, depending on how low in the 30s you get, that there's going to be some type of fish deaths. You can get ready for it. And I know you stay in Miami, and Miami, you really don't have to worry about um, cold winters and cold snaps coming through. But there is certain times that it's a chance that it might come through. I can guarantee if we look in Miami's um, history, I guarantee there's been cold snaps that have come through that are in the 30s and lower 30s. I can guarantee it. So we want to make sure that um, if you can, you want to add some type of emergency heating to your system um, if possible. I know you it, it, you say that you don't really want to spend a lot of um, extra money on it. So, you know, but if you can, you know, because you don't want to have a system that's established and then that one cold snap, all it takes is one. That one 32 degree cold snap to come through Miami and everything is gone. But no, you have tilapia. So I'm, if you have a hundred fish, you might have 10 of them left. 10 of them might make it out and still, but we don't want to chance it. So um, 45 degrees minimum, you're not going to have much activity in 45 degrees. The metabolism is going to be super slow. They're not going to be eating, hardly moving around, um, but they will survive. Um, if you have blue tilapia, let me get that straight. Blue tilapia, they're some of the better ones, uh, some of the better species of tilapia for surviving the um, 
the, the winter time. If you're dealing with Nile tilapia then, and Mozambique and stuff, you may want to go up to 50 degrees. Um, but so that's pretty much it. Keep it above 45 degrees with the blue, blue tilapia. Um, 50, 50 degrees is probably even better. Um, and those temperatures you probably experience over there in Miami. Um, right now, I think it's like over here where I'm at in Central Florida, it's about, I think tonight is going to be um, a 39 degrees. Or actually lower than that, 33 degrees, I think, when I checked on the, um, the schedule. So the system, everything is heated up now. Um, and then I think in, in Miami, I think it's going to be like 56 degrees. But today is a cold snap for us. Throughout the rest of the week, it's going to be like lows of 50s or whatever. But it's a cold snap for tonight. And they got to be ready or else your fish are going to die. <laughs>